All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Back at you again to do another show. And as always, you know, my hopes and prayers to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that you are edified, you know, by these videos. May it build upon your faith, you know, and build upon your salvation in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So, with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. Alright, so this is a video I was watching in the tube, and I came across your boy, Richie from Boston. Alright, and um, he entitled his video, Mark of the Beast Will Not Be RFID. So I thought, you know, from the title, it was very interesting. And um, I thought this was clickbait. You know, I thought he was going to make mockery of maybe someone that would say that it's not the RFID microchip. But, you know, he's basically saying that the mark of the beast will not be the RFID microchip. And um, before I got up to 13 minutes in, I was going to leave a comment and basically say, well, if the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast, then what is the mark of the beast? You know, so as I got up to this 13 minutes in, you know, this is what he said the mark of the beast would be. You know, also, let me make mention before I even play it that, you know, I've been watching Richie from Boston for many years and um, he's changed up, you know, his thoughts and what he believe in. You know, he still believe in a higher power, but. You know, I remember, um, you know, I remember seeing a video he changed up and said that I, I believe he's teaching or saying and believes that the earth is actually flat when he was teaching it, that it was actually round. Um, another thing a few years ago, he made mention on his thoughts about who are the real Jews of the Bible. And he said the real Jews are those so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native and Seminole Indians. All right. Basically, the Israelites, you know, but um, as I continue to watch over the years, we watch different YouTubers for information. You know, these guys be coming up with things that we miss, you know, and um, what you do is that you chew the meat and spit out the bones. You know, clearly he's not glorifying your how about you, was shy. So he's not in the truth. All right. You may root for him. You know, I remember having conversations with different brothers and they were saying he could be, you know, he is, he could be an Israelite, you know, could be of the of the native Indians, you know, but the fact of the matter is he's not in the truth. He's not uh, prophesizing and preaching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So you can't expect these guys to be 100 percent, you know, or about the truth. The truth is the truth. And that's the scriptures, man. You know, so I'm going to let you li listen to what he said. What is the mark of the beast? And then I want to um, go into the actual scripture that speaks on the mark of the beast. supposed to be a correction. It was a statement. The RFID chip is off the table. The cashless app is where it'll be. Because the cashless app will give them the exact same power they were looking for with the RFID. Except... Instead of tricking people into in injecting a chip under their hand, they're going to trick them into using a cashless app, and then something else will come down the pipeline that will be the mark. It'll probably be some one of those tattoos or something like that. All right. So he's saying that it's a, an app, you know. Now, when you read the scripture... When you read the scripture about the mark of the beast, it cannot be an app. You know, what, what he fails to realize is that apps and the tattoos, electronic tattoos, that's all prelude. That's all temporary, you know, for you to be convinced and taking the mark, taking the chip. You know, like he played the video, he played the video of Aaron Russo and Aaron Russo even made mention on that the end goal of the elites is for everyone to be RFID microchip. And when you read the scriptures, you clearly understand that that that, that is the truth. You know, 
you know, he goes and say that it's an actual app. But now let's read Revelations 13, 16. It says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So a app is not placed in your right hand or in your forehead. So that lets you know that the mark has to be something physical, has to be something placed upon, you know, in your skin, placed upon you. You know, now another cut in where he's talking about an app, but doesn't make sense is because the scriptures say, first off, it says he calls of all and that he is these East, these Edomites. All right. They're going to cause you to be forced to take this chip. <laughs> So it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. So if you are bond, which represents if you're locked up, all right, you have rich and poor, the rich, you have the poor, you know, even the poor. Let's use the poor and the bond for make this uh, this lesson, right, to get this example across. Excuse me. The poor, most of these bums, they don't have cell phones. You know, they may even have... um. You know, cell phones like the government phone, the Obama phone, they call it. But they're not making cashless purchases through apps. OK, when it says bond, you know, people that are locked up in prison. First off, in the prison, the, the, the cellmates are not allowed to have phones, even though they do have phones, but they're not allowed to. All right. So how would they make purchase? You know, it doesn't make sense. That the mark of the beast would be an app or a tattoo. The tattoo is a prelude so that once you get convinced and once you get used to, excuse me, once you get used to having these electronic tattoos for phone features and buying and selling things and doing these so-called neat, cool things, you know, you wouldn't want to live without it. So why not be implanted? All right. Well, you don't have to think of it. It's already there. You don't have to worry about it washing away. Um, you have to worry about it. Somebody's uh, is falling off your skin. It's implanted inside your body. So now to get even more deeper, you know, the word mark itself. All right. The word mark goes into the Greek word. Karagma. Which is the Strong's G. 5480. Karagma. Karagma. All right. Which Karagma means. A stamp and imprinted mark. So it's something upon the skin or let's say something underneath the skin. It says of the mark stamp on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. So that can't be an app. An app is in, the, in, a, in a device, which is a cell phone or iPad. <laughs> it says the mark branded upon horses. So it's something branded upon the skin. Thing carbon work, blase blue, right? So the chip is is something. The chip, but well, excuse me, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, which is incision up underneath the skin. Okay, it doesn't make sense that it would be an app. Let me go back into the video and play back what he said. All right, and this is another thing, guys. This this truth is for the elect, and this is why. You know, you have to listen to the prophets, the men that are out there speaking on the highways and byways in season and out of season, you know, and I'm going to be more direct. You have to watch the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man, the true men of the Lord teaching the scriptures. All right. You may come across these guys that know partially truth, that speak of a good, you know, giving out good information as far as, you know, the wickedness that goes on in the world. But they're not the men of the Lord that the Lord called upon. All right. And as you can clearly see, you know, he's teaching or he's basically pushing out there that the mark of the beast would not be the RFID chip. He also made mention in the video that it can't be the RFID because the RFID been out there for many years. So what? All right. Esau, scriptures tell you he, he know of that he have but a short time. So he coming down having great, great wrath. Esau wants to make sure he doesn't fail. All right. Play this video, man. That wasn't supposed to be a commercial, it was a statement. <clears throat> the RFID chip is off the table. The 
cashless app is where it'll be. Because the cashless app will give them the exact same power. The cashless app is in devices. It's in your cell phone. It's a it's an app that's a that you can you know download from your cell phone or from your iPad. That's not, that can't be the mark of the beast being a, a a app. Maybe he may re maybe he'll go over this video and then come out with something later and correct himself. Where they were looking for with the RFID, except instead of tricking people into in injecting a chip under their hand. They're going to trick them into using a cashless app and then something else will come down. He's going to trick them in using a cashless app. I mean, doesn't most of the people that have cell phones in this day, 2019, are using their cell phones to purchase things. People are already doing that. What do you mean trick them? Everybody, a lot of people are using that type of app. That's not the mark of the beast. You know? On the pipeline, that will be the mark. It'll probably be some one of those tattoos or something like that. Then he said it will go be a tattoo. Why? Because that's placed upon the skin. And he's thinking about it now. You know? But notice he haven't quote the scriptures. If he read the scriptures, then he would probably retract the statement. But anyway, man, I wanted to bring this light to attention. I didn't want to make this thing too long, man. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast, man. All right? And it's not a it's not a cashless app. All right. It's not Christianity. It's not an embargo. It is the RFID chip, and the end goal for these elites is that they want everyone microchip. All the tattoos and all the cashless ways to pay for things is a prelude to get you conditioned into paying that way, all right? So that now, when you're used to paying and having more convenience in doing things, you wouldn't mind if they made by law, which they did, and they forced for you to receive an implant in your skin. You know, that chip goes a long way. It's a new form of identity. All right. It, it can actually um, diagnose your sickness when you go to the hospital. You know, it's a, a new form of currency, which is cashless, you know, and it's other neat. Well, let me say so-called cool things to do with it when it comes to these electronics that we use. All right. So what are these guys talking about? So with that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.